I'll probably be nervous just before the show, but when mm. you're out there, it's very different anyway. Mm. And it's different every night. Sometimes I don't feel nervous at all. Mm. How about, do you feel nervous over the fact that you're very well produced on record? Will it be difficult to get the, you know, sta standard that you've, you've already got inside um, a concert? Yeah, there, there are difficulties there because when you record, you have perfection of sound. I mean, everything is under a microscope. Mm. And anything slightly out of tune or anything slightly wrong is corrected. But I think a lot of people expect that, that when they come to a concert, they expect to hear a live sound, and it is different. And I think if people heard exactly what was on the album, why are they coming to hear it, you know? You come mm. to hear something exciting and spontaneous. Spon spontaneous, yeah. Oh, what was the feeling like when you got a number one? It was... Unbelievable. I, I really didn't know whether to believe it or not, and I was lost for a sensation, really. Was you, was you at home? Or? Yeah, I was at home. I just got up, and the phone rang, and someone I hadn't heard from for years said, congratulations, and I said, well, why? And they said, well, you're number one. I said, <laughs> number one and what? on top of the pops. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. I couldn't believe it. Did I'm very lucky. You have been lucky, haven't you? Very. You're a very sensual woman on stage. Do you, does it come to your flow naturally in you, or do you have to work at it? The, the important thing about movement is that it should be an expression mm. and, and not something that is calculated, because it is an art form. Mm. Movement is maybe sometimes more an art form than music, because it is such a physical, free thing. And I, I think it, as long as you, you are feeling the movement, then that's its purpose. Your stage costumes are, um, are very well done, very, you know, theatrical. Have you ever thought of appearing just the way you are now? Yeah, I've thought of it, yeah. But I consider myself and the performer two completely different entities. Like now, I'm talking to you as me. If, if mm. I was on the stage now, I'd be a very different person. Well, it's, it's then viable then, isn't it, to, to get into it and fall into the toy cupboard, <laughs> uh, as we say. I didn't know that one. I didn't know what that means. Well, you know, it means the toy box put on all, you know, when you were kids, putting on your mother's makeup and the high heels. Yeah. Being allowed to. What are you going to do in the future? What pot are you going to crack? Well, in the future? Yeah, what's, what's happening for you? What's on the cards? Well, the tour, and then um, hopefully I'm going to get a holiday. Are you going to the States? Oh, you've got I to admit the States case. You've got to get over there and give it to them. Only if they want me. English girl. Only what? Only if they want me. Oh, they will, if, you, if you're big here and you're all. You're bound to go over there, aren't you? No, we'll see. Keep a place for me. <laughs> Keep it nice and warm. Okay. L let me ask you about, um, do you ever, like, I, I was in the shops the other day, and I've been going to the shop for years, and I was buying a pound of cheese, and I got mobbed. Do you ever get mobbed in the shops? No, was... I've never been mobbed, no. Don't you get, don't you get recognised? Occasionally, yeah, but people have never mobbed me, no. Well, I tend to exaggerate polite. a little bit, three or four, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what do you feel about, um, going really big. What does it feel like to have the star drop on your head? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't feel it, did it? <laughs> the, the coincidence, oh, I think it's about to land any minute. Yeah, oh, I yeah. put a helmet on. I think you, you, you're getting very big. It's a, it's a good drive. You, you, I'm expanding, I think. You're doing the right things, yeah, you're certainly expanding. It's uh, amazing, yeah. I hope Liverpool's a very lucky city and it'll probably cast a spell on you. I hope it's a nice one. And make sure you, you keep mementos from it. Yeah. Anyway, Kate, I wish you all the luck. Thank you, you too. And Liverpool was lucky for Kate Bush, or is it Bosch? Whatever. Kate goes on at Manchester.